Meghan, Archie, and Lilibet face an imminent threat due to the repercussions of Harry's significant error in his televised interview. His choice to disclose everything may soon result in significant unforeseen repercussions for him and his loved ones. Greetings and a heartfelt welcome back to the Princess Diana News YouTube channel. I highly doubt that anyone has ever labeled Harry as a covert genius. Spare, the provocatively named book, has been authored by him and has become a subject of worldwide conversation. However, he has never been criticized for having a low IQ, and he has never been known to solve the New York Times crossword in permanent marker. However, in the event that there was any evidence whatsoever suggesting that Harry possesses some idiomatic tendencies, there is no need to search any further. Over the course of many years, Harry has continuously expressed his strong disdain for the media. However, ultimately, he is a male individual who has a book to market. Which is the reason Harry was everywhere you looked last week. He consented to a sequence of television interviews in order to promote his revealing story. He began by initiating a conversation with ITV's Tom Bradby. And that is something I strongly advise you to endure only if it is absolutely necessary. Fellas, I witnessed it. The experience inflicted considerable pain. Throughout the entire 90 minutes, Harry appeared flushed and exasperated as he struggled to convince Bradby, who remained steadfast in his refusal to accept Harry's tired arguments. Harry additionally introduced a range of absurd comments, such as expressing his desire for our family's reconciliation to have a profound impact on the global stage. Sure Harry, I understand. However, Harry's decision to release Spare and stir such a media frenzy may have been a hasty and imprudent move. He might have unintentionally unleashed a series of unforeseen consequences. According to an expert, by participating in Spare and its accompanying PR campaign, Harry has greatly jeopardized his chances of ever experiencing even a hint of privacy in the future. In recent days, there has been a flood of humiliating, intimate, and cringe-inducing truths exposed, beginning with Martin Penley of The Guardian gaining access to spare ahead of time, and subsequently, some Spanish book vendors prematurely selling the book. Australians will need to exercise patience until Wednesday for the opportunity to acquire an authorized copy of the book. However, it is widely acknowledged that this book contains an abundance of confidential information about the royal family. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is precisely the crux of the issue. Moreover, his disloyalty lies not only in divulging the most intimate discussions within his family. Alternatively, one could argue that he went too far when he made his family's issues public. Rather than appearing as though he is exchanging confidential information for a substantial salary. The decision made by Harry to release this book implies that he will reluctantly bid farewell to his hopes of enjoying privacy from paparazzi and reporters, as commented by the editor of the UK's Press Gazette. Dominic Ponsford of the Gazette noted that judges consider how much individuals have voluntarily shared information publicly when evaluating privacy claims. Furthermore, a former executive of a tabloid has expressed isn't it ironic? We have a couple who initiated numerous high-profile legal actions against the media. And now, he may have unleashed the potential for an even higher degree of scrutiny. Now, let's explore the initial aspect of this chaotic situation. Currently, Harry and Meghan's photographs frequently appear in tabloids, even though they rarely seem to be actively fulfilling their official roles. In the interview with Bradby, Harry attempted to stress that he was extremely content and fulfilled in his life. However, this claim becomes questionable when we acknowledge the intense invasion of privacy that Meghan and Harry are currently experiencing in the United States. Firstly, during their time in the UK, they resided on the Windsor estate, benefiting from enhanced privacy due to the presence of official security measures. This is the reason why, for instance, an aerial view of Frogmore Cottage has never been made available. However, in stark contrast, 
numerous pictures of Meghan and Harry's lavish $20 million California McMansion can be found. Additionally, in the year 2020, Meghan and Harry decided to seek legal recourse against a paparazzi agency. Their claim was that the agency had flown a drone over their Los Angeles residence, where they were currently residing. The media and the palace have reached an understanding regarding the dissemination of photographs featuring royal children. This implies that it is prohibited for the media to acquire or release any unauthorized photographs of the children. For instance, during their outings to the park or while accompanying their mother on shopping trips. In a previous interview Meghan had with Cut Magazine, journalist Alison P. had the opportunity to discuss numerous topics. Davis stated that she had expressed her concerns about Archie being photographed, yet no photos have emerged of him taken by paparazzi in the UK. The only images available are of Meghan carrying him from preschool in the US. Last Friday, amidst global media excitement over the revelations in Spare, Harry's displeasure was captured in a photo as he walked their Labrador Pulla in the rain. This latest edition completes the collection of captivating photographs featuring Harry engaged in various activities such as hiking, cycling, and strolling by the shore. Furthermore, numerous instances have been captured where Meghan and Harry were seen boarding and disembarking private aircrafts in the United States. We captured footage of their departure from an appointment in LA, Harry engaging in a game of polo while Meghan observed, Meghan embarking on shopping trips on multiple occasions, their visit to Oprah Winfrey, and various instances of dining out, including a meal with Harry's cousin Princess Eugenie in her spouse Jack Brooksbank. To put it differently, the US celebrity website TMZ has gone to the extent of sharing images of Meghan and Harry's dog Walker engaging in physical activity with one of their dogs. If Harry and Meghan have already been the subject of paparazzi attention, it appears that Spare would potentially amplify the problem significantly. Furthermore, it can be argued that Harry has violated his own personal boundaries by publishing this autobiography. Last week, Lord Fox, the chairman of UK's independent press standard organization, also reiterated this point during an interview with the BBC. He suggested that if individuals willingly engage in conversations about their personal lives, it is not illogical for the media to report on it, suggesting that to some degree they have invited scrutiny into their privacy. Could Harry potentially face a complaint in the future? It is a possibility. Ponsford expressed curiosity in the Gazette about the possibility of him being subjected to a privacy legal dispute, although it is highly improbable. He also made reference to a 2006 case illustrating that individuals in intimate familial relationships have a responsibility to maintain confidentiality with one another. Therefore, it is clear that there will definitely be repercussions following the observation of this week's disastrous event. I anticipate that we will soon have the pleasure of seeing numerous pictures featuring Harry and his distinctive frown. Furthermore, have you considered the dog walker's circumstances? They might also require representation from an agent. Would you be in agreement with me? If so, please consider liking and sharing this video with others who would find it enjoyable. If not, kindly inform me of the reason in the comments section. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Princess Diana News, in order to show your continued support. I appreciate your presence tonight and look forward to connecting with you all again tomorrow. Have a good night.